the first thing that comes to my mind after drinking a truly Alka-Seltzer. And welcome back to the beer garden. Where have you been? You've been asking for the last couple of weeks. Well, we're in the process of moving into a new home. And so uh, you know what that's like. And then last week I was in Florida at Disney World. Yeah, my wife booked that one. So it was uh, the Safari Land. It was Hollywood Studios, Epcot and Magic Kingdom. More on the beer situation at Disney on that coming up, including some of the outrageous prices. But anyway, I'm back after missing last week's brew review. If you're watching this consecutively, I appreciate that. And uh, hey, if you're here because you like beer, let's be honest, why else would you be? Please tap that subscribe button down below because I have low self-esteem and lots of followers makes me feel really good about myself. I appreciate it. Coming up at the end of this brew review, I'm going to rate this brew out of five stars, five being a very good brew. Where will I put it? Well, I listen to you, the viewers, another overwhelming request for truly hard seltzer. I'm a little Lewis and Clark on the whole seltzer thing, uh, just because I'm in no man's land. I've uh, never traveled here before. I did, uh, to date, I've only done one other seltzer, and I don't even remember what it was but I didn't like it at all. It's 5% alcohol. This is a 24 ounce can. Once again, I'm not a tiny man with tiny hands. It's just a big old can. Uh, the can says Truly is an affiliate of the Boston Beer Company, but it, it's brewed in Cincinnati, Memphis, and Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and La Crosse, Wisconsin. So that's uh, that's almost the, uh, the quadrant of cheap beers. Uh, this wasn't terribly expensive. The Truly in this 24 ounce can, I think it was $2.49, 5% alcohol. And before I pop the top on this, I was a little perplexed looking at the ingredients. It says filtered carbonated water, all right, then alcohol. I've never seen anything where they just said they just put alcohol in it. Natural flavors, cane sugar, citric acid, and sodium citrate. All right, so uh, let's pop the top and see what we got. Of course, we're pouring this into the sold out, very popular Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review pint glass, only to be complimented with the Cheap Brew Review leather patch trucker cap. Very nice on a brisk day here in the beer garden. Let's pop the top and uh, pretty much a standard soda sounding can open. Oh, right off the top, I'm punched in the face uh, by that artificial, oh, uh, well, it is an artificial pineapple smell. Maybe it's just because it was so strong right out of the can. Uh, it does smell a little more convincing than I was expecting. I'm expecting since it's a seltzer, it should be clear absolutely is and no real big surprises here i was shocked at the very first brew review i did of uh, a seltzer of just how blah it was just no taste at all i was expecting a little something like a soda but it really was a uh, flavored water that kind of makes you goofy and for those of you who get on to me from time to time about your glass is filthy, that's why you got so many bubbles in it. I just washed this myself. I fired my dishwasher and I just hand washed this myself. I don't know if all these bubbles are a nature of uh, the seltzer. I don't know. Nature of the truly. I don't know. Why do they name it truly? I don't know. Is it truly awful? Is it truly bland? Is truly a hard seltzer? It says a hint of pineapple. I gotta be honest, I've, it smells, uh, I, for the last, since I opened it, it's like someone took a chainsaw to a pineapple orchard. So here we go, so I don't wanna drink alone, so grab yourself a brew, and uh, let's get it going. Cheers. The first thing that comes to my mind after drinking a Truly, even though it says with a hint of pineapple, I smell the pineapple, I don't taste the pineapple, but the first thing that comes to my mind is Alka-Seltzer. I had a really bad cold one time and I had never tried Alka-Seltzer before. And so I got it, tore open that little packet, you know, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. And it was just that fizzy water. 
I don't know how Alka-Seltzer helps you when you're cold, when you have a cold or, or sick at all. I have no idea. And that's uh, this is this you you could I could be doing a blind taste comparison between Alka-Seltzer and Truly, and I would fail. <coughs> oh, just fill it up. They say. If you're watching this because you are a true craft beer lover, I'm sorry. I apologize. Or maybe I should say you're welcome. Because if uh, you're watching this because you're wondering if you should buy a Truly or not, and because you are a beer lover and you love all things that beer is made of, you know, the, that uh, complexity, the the barley and the, uh, the yeast and the malt, you're not going to get that with Truly. No. Uh, don't even waste your time. I mean, continue to watch the video to the end, but um, you're not going to like a Truly. Uh, of all the hard seltzers I've had, which Truly is now number two, uh, it does have a little bit more flavor. Uh, I know my wife drinks a lot of, of uh, fizzy, I call it fizzy water. What do you, how do you say in your language, is it soda water, club soda? Something like that, it doesn't have the, that poisonous stuff in it though. You know, what this Truly could use is probably a couple of shots of tequila in it. If you like water, you like this, and let's be honest, you can't survive without water. Who would be drinking a Truly? Uh, maybe a middle-aged man with low tea. Uh, women, absolutely, uh, for sure, because it is very light, it's crisp, it's refreshing. I could see a woman on the beach in a two-piece pink bikini. Of course, all bikinis are two-piece, aren't they? With a six-pack of Truly in her cooler as she's spritzing herself down with Factor 7 suntan oil and maybe a little accelerator because she lives on the edge. With those Ray-Ban sunglasses on, with her little boom box listening to Dua Lipa. White Claw, that's what I had before, White Claw. This is better than White Claw. And uh, I don't want to say that I am any sort of seltzer aficionado or a seltzer sommelier, but truly is better than White Claw. Real quick, I don't want to keep you too long, but like I said, last week there was no brew review because I was in uh, Disney World. Uh, my wife uh, dragged me kicking and screaming to Disney World. A couple of the things I hate most in life are theme parks and crowded places and standing in line. Well, Disney has become a master of all of that and just shredding your wallet while they do it. Don't get me wrong, I love the place. If it had less people in it and took less money out of my bank account. And I'm happy to see that Disney is loosening uh, the strings on the whole alcohol thing. Uh, the Magic Kingdom is still bone dry, so if you get dragged there, don't expect to find any semblance of alcohol. Uh, props to uh, Hollywood Studios uh, for their beer selection. Very good beer selection there. Extremely expensive. Uh, expect to pay around $10 a beer. Uh, same with Epcot. Uh, we did the drink around the world at Epcot. And uh, again, about 10 bucks a pop for uh, 16 ounce, you know, uh, beer of good quality. Uh, they, they, got, they got the crap beer too, if you want to drink that. So anyway, there's your little travel advice. If you're going to uh, the Disney theme parks, you can get some type of booze everywhere you go except the Magic Kingdom. So beware. I would maybe suggest one of those sort of plastic hip pouches, you know, that hold eight ounces of liquor, or do the old-fashioned college trick of the water bottle and uh, you fill it up full of vodka. All right, so out of five stars, five being a very good uh, brew, uh, where would I give truly hard seltzer? Well, it truly has no taste really to speak of. It truly isn't bad. It truly isn't awful. I'm not a fan of the seltzers. Would I ever buy this again? Probably not. If somebody offered me a truly, would I turn it down? Probably not if I was standing in line at a Disney theme park ride. All right, so I think I may be disappointing in this one. Out of five stars, I'm going to give Truly Hard Seltzer a 2.25 out of five stars. So there you go. Hey, if you made it this far, God bless you uh, for sticking in there. Please tap that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And please check out more of my over 125 brew reviews on this channel. Love to have you uh, be a part of our Facebook group as well. And please follow us on Instagram and uh, Twitter. Love to read your comments and suggestions uh, down below, and I pride myself on getting back to every positive comment. The haters can leave their hater comments, but I usually tend to ignore those. And hey, it's a relatively beautiful day here in the beer garden. Why don't you go grab yourself a beer, and you drink that beer. Cheers.